my whole life I was like very insecure, you know what I mean? Big ass you no know, small dick type shit. Trust, bro. I got no ladies wine. Yo, what's up? This is Ari and this is First with Rap TV. Navarro. First artist to influence my fashion. And I'm living life, life of Bugatti, boot body Bugatti, boot body Bugatti, yeah. Thugger, bro, no cap. I love Young Thug so much, bro. That's like the GOAT, honestly. Free Jeffrey, no cap. First piece of bad advice I've gotten. Honestly, bro, you know when people say like, never change? That's bad advice. Never forget where you came from type shit. And I promise you, I will never forget where I came from. But you have to change in order to evolve. What's that old ass Cardi video? It's from like 2015. What the fuck does he say? Hold up. He says, um, okay. some niggas can say I changed on them because I thought they was on the same shit I was on, but they not. Or they was on some shit that I wanted to be on. And when I got on that shit, I got on it, then surpassed, and surpassed them, them, and they was just lost in the sauce. And they were lost in the fucking Little Caesars marinara sauce. Worst of advice, never change. Bro, you have to change. You gotta have a total elevated mindset when you want to progress your life. And there is gonna be people that are gonna tell you to stay here or stay there because they're scared that you're gonna surpass them. But I promise you, bro, you have to change for the better, for your better. And, and also, let me say this real quick. Let me say this, let me say this, let me say this. You could never really give someone advice, bro, because everyone has their own journey. First time jumping into a crowd at a Cardi show. I think it was in the Netherlands. You could see a kid recording and then I front flipped into the camera of the kid and I freaking like annihilated the hell out of the kid. First time meeting Ye, wow, crazy. And, and, and I'm gonna tell you the story right now, trust. I'm, I'm gonna tell you the story, but I don't want it to come off like, like, hey, look at me. Like I'm telling stories of like famous people. So like, give me validation. I don't, bro, trust me. No, I'm not like that at all, trust. I remember telling myself, bro, like Kanye is gonna call me one day. I, I had that envisioned already. Like Kanye West, incoming call, you know? This was maybe like last year, I think. I get a text message and it said, hey, it's Ye, I'm gonna call you. Bro, I swear to God, I knew that shit was real. I saved his number right away. I wanted to see his name on my phone. I text him back, you know, all right, cool. Yeah, I'm here. Low key, I let that shit ring, bro. I let that shit ring for like four rings, five rings, just to see that name and just to appreciate it. You know what I mean? When I went to go style for Ye that first time, he was playing Donda. He was playing it in the background while I'm styling. So I told him, I was like, yo, can I change the music? He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah of course. So I changed Donda to Burzum. And then when I changed it, he's like, that's why I brought you here. I'm trying to fill out your vibe type shit. Wow, I just fucking remember that right now. First job I ever had. Ooh, bro, Ooh, bro. <laughs> bro, I used to work at In-N-Out. I got fired. So the person that's cooking, he's in charge of the meat. I was in charge of like putting lettuce, tomato. <laughs> Started from the bottom, now we're here, yeah. <laughs> Memories. <laughs> We're gonna leave those in the past, know what I mean? My car only got one gear. Boom, drive. That shit does not got a reverse, bro. That's it. No neutral, park, nope, go. First time meeting Ken Carson. The first time I ever met him, we all went to that virtual reality show together, Cyberworld. He performed in it too. But I promise you that Ken Carson is the funniest person ever, bro. Like we'll just be on FaceTime and just like cracking jokes. We nerd out on like fashion shit all the time. Gnarliest closets I've ever seen. He never like posts it cause it's just for him. I think people that are in love with stuff or someone that's so obsessed with their crap, they don't need to show it off. So yeah, like Cardi, Lone, Ken, they have every Balenciaga piece ever. It feels like I'm glazing. <laughs> it feels like I'm glazing. I'm not, I'm not Krispy Kreming right now. All right, real talk, let's go. First time encountering a hater. Oh my God, let me, I actually, you know what's crazy? I've never encountered a hater. They all live on the internet. The internet's not real. If I ever encounter a hater though, I hope his name is Bob. Cause what the living fuck I'm about to do to Bob. <laughs> do to Bob. I don't read my comments and it hasn't been like that in like three years. I don't worry about what anyone tells me. My whole life I was like very insecure. You know what I mean? Big ass no, small dick type shit. Like trust bro, I got no ladies. Why?
So now I feel like that I'm like, you know, I got a little bit of traction type shit. I can walk into a room and they're gonna be like, damn, who the fuck is that kid type shit. You know what I mean? First time I met Virgil, Rest in peace, Virgil, first and foremost. He had a show with Takashi Mirakami at the Gagosian. I went to the show, I said what's up to him. He was busy as hell though. And something that really I appreciated from him was he invited me to the Chateau for like an after party. As I'm walking in, there are butlers and stuff. Like, you know when they walk around with champagne and shit? And I remember I was like, holy shit, this literally feels like a movie. And then I was uh, going to go walk to Virgil because I see him from a distance and he's standing next to Drake. So I give Virgil a hug again. And then I remember I just kind of like nodded at Drake and like, I didn't want to make a fool out of myself. So we just kind of head nodded. So shout out Virgil, bro. Yeah, I love that guy. And I miss that guy every single day. I love you, Virgil. First time I walked a runway show, I wrote that shit down, bro. No fucking gorro. I said I was gonna walk Balenciaga and I fucking walked Balenciaga, bro, trust. Bro, my mom used to like um, heat up pots and pans and shit because we didn't have hot water. When I was walking the fucking runway at Balenciaga, I was remembering. That doesn't happen to people like me. I'm not a model. <laughs> look at the way I look. Look at the way I look. I look insane. Why do you want me to walk your show? Shout out to Demna. A lot of people ask me like, yo, why wasn't your hair up? Balenciaga show is not about me. Demna is Martin Scorsese. That's Demna, that's his show. That's whatever he envisions in the show, that's what it's gonna be, bro. I'm honestly even so happy too that I had my hair down because it gave me confidence. Without my piercings, I feel naked. Without my hair, I feel naked. But him putting me in that show feeling naked literally gave me a boost of confidence. First assumption people make about opium. Honestly, bro, I will say that I think a lot of people might think that we're like, um, not we're, I'm sorry, I don't fucking do music. They probably just think that they're not busy. Or like a viral post will be like, he's in the studio type shit. I'm telling you right now, all of them, Ken, Lonely, Cardi, Homicide, they are in the studio every single night cooking up. But I think that they make so much because they're trying to evolve and trying to find a new sound. They're just constantly fucking grinding, bro. So I kind of get annoyed when people, people think that like they're not working type shit. Bro, if people knew, man, trust. First thing Cardi told me, damn, that's crazy. I actually fucking remember. Whoa, I'm about to glaze right now type shit. I was getting into one of his security cars, like a Uber truck type shit. And he told me, this sounds kind of weird actually, but he's like, you look good. And I was like, yeah. But that was the first thing he told me. I look good. First piece of advice I give. This kind of ties back to the not wanting to give advice because everyone has their own journey, bro. So I guess the best advice I could give you is just listen to that voice. Listen to yourself. Like you are in control of your world. If you keep doing shit and being consistent with whatever you want to be passionate over, shit's gonna happen, bro. But just believe in yourself, bro. Cause no one's gonna believe in you. Everything you do, do it at 100%. Corny as fuck, but you know that fucking saying that they say like, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. That's corny as fuck, but that shit is true, bro. And you know what's crazy? If you fail, sick. Get the fuck back up. This is Ari, and that was first with Rap TV.